This is how the life of an average human being goes. You are born, and at the age of one, two, or three, you are taken to a preschool or school. Your teachers are kind, but at the same time, they insist you must know certain things. At 10 or 11, you are out of primary school and your high school teachers are not different. Now that you're older, much should be expected of you. There are many things you want to do, but there is always someone teacher or parent to make you do the right thing. At 17 or 18, you're probably in a university. Well, you might think that you have some freedom, but your grades will remind you that you don't. You get out of school and it's time to look for a job. You don't like what you went to school to study or the thought of having a 9 to 5 job, but at the age of 24, you probably have some debts and some bills, so you'll have to work. You don't like your employer or his business, but since he pays your bill, you have to be at his service. You're now 65 and everything you've ever done in your life was done either because someone forced you to do them or someone promised you a reward for doing them. By nature, humans don't run except something pursues them. But for you to succeed in life, you have to learn how to run without anyone forcing you to run. Andrew Kennedy said and I quote, People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity no matter how impressive their other talents. In other words, if you only do things because someone is standing on your neck, you can never succeed in life. Look around you and see how people live. You won't struggle at all to notice that almost nobody is doing difficult things except someone is there to force them to do it. Most people can do the job they hate for 30 years because it pays their bills. But these same people cannot run a business that's difficult for three months. Most people will do the most difficult things in the world as long as someone is there to motivate them, either by promising them a reward or threatening them with punishment. The path that leads to success is the path of self-motivation. If you need someone to motivate you, you won't go far in life. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. Important things versus compulsory things there are two kinds of people in the world. People who do what is compulsory and people who do what is important. What is compulsory has to be done because if you don't do it, someone is there to punish you for it or there's a pain that comes to you. You don't have to do important things because nobody is there to punish you for not doing it. Let me look for some examples here. Reading in school is compulsory because if you don't do it, someone is there to punish you and that person is your grades. Since every student knows that if they don't read, they will have poor grades, it's easy to get students to read, and that's the reason why most of us read in school. Now, after school, well, nobody is there to punish you for not reading after school, and because nobody will punish us for not reading after school, most people don't read after school. Now, let me ask you, when should human beings read? Well, the answer is, until the day you die. Human beings should read until the last day of their lives, but most of us only read till the last day of our schooling because after school, reading is no longer compulsory. People who do compulsory things end up being poor. People who do important things end up being successful. And it's all about self-motivation. To be successful in life, you have to be able to do difficult things, even if nobody is there to punish you for not doing it. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. I also love to use the example of our health. Everyone seems to know that the best foods in the world are fruits and vegetables, but they are boring, so we hardly eat them. Now imagine that you visit a doctor and she tells you that you may die in the next year if you don't eat fruits and vegetables every day. Then you'll become a new person because death is coming for you now, you will run and start eating fruits and vegetables every day. That's how human beings behave. We always need something to pursue us before we run. But if you want to succeed in life, you have to do the opposite. You have to run because it's important to run, not because someone is there to punish you for not running. Sources of motivation Some people seem to be self-motivated, while others always need someone to force them to before they move. In this section, I'll try to share with you some tips that can help you become self-motivated. 1. Make friends with self-motivated people All my life, I've been around people who dare big things. 
so it's very easy for me to dare big things. If you have friends who dream of dreams and take difficult actions towards their dreams, it becomes easy for you to be self-motivated just as your friends are. 2. Read Biographies of Successful People I remember reading the biography of Winston Churchill when I was around 20. What a crazy man he was. What a confident, bold and daring young man he was. I remember reading the biography of Bill Clinton. He was always in a hurry. He rushed through life because he believed that he could die early, like his dad. Reading the stories of a great warrior will make you become a warrior. Reading about the exploits and victories of other people will make you want to do exploits yourself. And this will make you self-motivated. 3. Set Goals Simple but exciting goals I started setting goals since when I was around 15 and I still set goals till today. Goals make you feel like you've committed yourself to something. And just as you don't want to feel like you're not responsible, seeing your goals make you want to do something, even if such things are not easy. At the end of the day, those who become successful in life are those who dare difficult things, even while they have options. That's called self-motivation. As a young person, you must build your life around doing important things, even if they are difficult, even if nobody is there to force you. Remember what Andrew Kennedy said, people who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. If you like this video, then you should watch our other videos on our channel. We love you.